What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I apologize I've been absent the last couple weeks, but we were having some technical difficulties. Uh, but from now on, we should be back to weekly uploads as normal. Uh, to get you guys all caught up, basically, in this video, we've been getting the 9-inch all mocked up. A lot of fab cutting, modifying, getting everything to work. You guys will see that in a second. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Got it all masked off here. I got it wiped down with alcohol so everything should stick good. Then we got the professional paint booth set up out here. And I'm gonna come out here, hang it real quick, and then we'll get to painting. In between the time that the paint is drying, we are going to see if we can find a spot for this new fuel cell. I'm hoping we can just modify brackets and make this one fit where this one is um, right now with not too much trouble. First thing we gotta do before we can even start dissecting the tank, we have to empty the tank. Right now, Uncle Glenn has his dart on the lift. He's hoping to be here in the next uh, day or two and get it out of our hair so we can have the lift back. And then once this guy is gone, we can get the drag truck back onto the lift and get the new rear end put in it because we are less than one month away from the, our first race. So now that I got all these four corners broken loose, I'm gonna go to floor jack and a piece of wood. And then I'm gonna take these all the way off and we'll lower it down and see what happens. All the bolts are out, everything's disconnected. So I'm gonna start lowering this and we'll see if it falls off or what happens. Side's coming down a little bit faster. Just like that. So let's get the other floor jack. Jack up the truck to get this floor jack out. Oh. Hmm. Now what? I hold this one. And then work this one. like I planned. Perfect. Okay, here it is. Not raw metal anymore. Now we just let it dry and then Glenn can come and put it all together. What's up? <laughs> the stand. That's the fuel cell. The drag truck. Hmm. You're not going to be doing any long distance runs with this one. Well, and we can weld something to the underside too, or whatever, dude. We got welders.
drag truck along with some other things the nine inch got painted and we mocked it up we still have some modifying to do but it is getting there unfortunately it is the week of the race first race of the year and one truck is kind of ready that would be my mom's 52 uh, Ford we're hoping to get it dynoed sometime this week it should be done tomorrow dyno this week and then we can make it to the first uh, test and tune race this Sunday but the rest of us the drag trucks not close and dad's blazer cheese puff is not close either so neither of us will be uh, testing but mom should be out there we'll be out there she should be running so at least one of us gets to test and this race is not a points race it's just a test and tune like I said so it doesn't really matter we would have liked to be out there get as much testing done as we could but we're just hoping to be ready for the swap meet so that is now the goal uh, to be ready for the next couple of weeks here the swap meet we're just going to keep chipping away like we have been and we'll see how long this takes us we're getting some new springs from uh, Caltrack we're sending out some uh, stock height springs basically the issue we ran into is when we were putting the mono leafs on the drag truck they are bottoming out the axles bottoming out against the rubber bumpers against the frame so today I cut those bumpers out those brackets out and everything to give us a little bit more room between the axle and the frame uh, and along with those along with the new spring should be uh, three inches or so which is plenty for what we're looking at for so those should be good once the springs get in we can just swap those out and that should solve that problem and we'll move on to the next issue thank you guys for watching today's video i appreciate it as always and we will catch you on the next one